guys. We got some crossbows we're going to go over here today. We have the Rampage 360 from Wicked Ridge, have the Vapor RS470 from 10 Point, and the Vapor or the Havoc, excuse me, 440 RS from 10 Point as well. We're going to start with the Rampage. This is a nice budget, quality built bow. All these bows are from Ohio, American built by quality factory workers, which is beautiful. Quality control is not an issue with these things. First off, we're going to start with the feature of the active draw. We're going to go more into detail on this when we get to the range, but you can see how this guy clips in and goes over just like that. Neat feature about this is the efficiency of where the lever is stored at. Simply pull the lever out, engage, and on the back side we have a clutch. Now I can let go and you can see the clutch is engaged and it's not slipping. And then to decock, we just simply hit the engage button the opposite way, go from there, and we have the retractable system, just like that. So this one features AccuDraw, sweet bow. Comes with three bolts as well. Next, we're gonna go over the Havoc RS440. All right, so this Mac Daddy is 26 and a half inches chassis length from buttstock to here. Ultra, ultra comfortable for anyone hunting out of a saddle, tree stand, or ground blind. Makes it a sweet bow, not super heavy either. This one comes with six of the Evo X center punch bolts from 10 point. So they feature a brass insert, so you get a little more front of center. The scope is actually an avail too, and it comes with a red and green mill dot system out to a hundred yards on. Now we have probably the baddest crossbow of 2021 so far, and this is the Vapor RS470. It features the Garmin AI10 scope, ranging a reflective target at 500 yards, and it can acquisition a target out to 275 yards and track it for any non-reflective target. Um, the cool feature is being it is a Garmin scope, it does sync to your Garmin smartwatch, so you can do GPS location based on where your bolt was shot at with this thing. Uh, this package features the same center punch Evo X bolts from 10 point, six lighted, six non-lighted. Um, features a pack of center punch premium broadheads, a sling, and a soft case. So this retails $3,999, this one retails $560, and this one's coming in just shy of $2,600. So you have three different hardcore line of crossbows, we're gonna go to the range and do some more features with the RS and the Vapor. We'll be right back. What's going on guys? It's Cole with Tree Outfitters. So Cody talked to you a little bit about all these 10 point crossbows. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw them back and how the AccuDraw actually works on them. So this is the Rampage 360. So you make sure the engage is off. You're gonna pull all the way forward. Hook it onto your strings just like this. All right, and now that that's done, we're gonna remove our crank from the bottom, slide it right out, and stick it in the slot. Give it a little bit of tension, flip the gauge up, and now you can crank it up. Super easy, anyone can really do it. You can let go of it, it stays as long as it's engaged. So as you keep going, it would go up, all right, now let's say, you know what? Never mind, I don't want to go hunting today. Or I can't go because something else happened. You apply a little bit of pressure, put the engage down, and now you're gonna slowly unwind it. Just keeping just a little bit of pressure on it. And once the string is relieved, pop it out. Plug it right back into that little slot. Hold it over. Pop out your strings. Back you draw. And it sucks right out. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Havoc. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you how to do the Havoc. So we're gonna take our crank, store it in the slot, pop it out. Find our little slot right here. Push this little button right there. And it pops right into place. All right, now it's locked in there, it can't come out. Now what you also can do is pull it and it extends just a little more. So what we're gonna do is pop the pressure off a little bit. There's a little silver clip right here. We're gonna push that down, aim the crossbow down, and now we're just gonna unwind it. You're gonna back up on it and now this thing's just gonna drop right down. So as we're slowly letting it down, keep it flat to the bottom.
You hear that click? So now it has clicked into the string. So it is locked in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start pulling it backwards and see how I let go and it stays. I can pull, let go, and it stays. I can also push the other way and let it back down. That's 10 points new design. So you don't ever have to worry. It's super quiet. You can listen to it. Nothing. And then if I wanna let it back down, I let it back down. Super easy guys. So guys, now you, you got your crossbow uh, undrawn. So what we're gonna do to unclip this, all we're gonna do is push this little button right here, slide this lever down, it deconnects from the string, and now you just suck up that string. You hear that lock? It's locked into place. We can push our button, remove the handle, and store it back on the stock. It's the same for the Vapor uh, 470. So guys, come check us out at Extreme Outfitters for your next 10 point crossbow. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. If you liked, leave a like on it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on this bell notification so you guys can know when we upload again. If you guys like these kind of videos, we're gonna be pumping them out here shortly. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna do another product review, maybe a little bit of shooting. You guys never know. All right guys, thank you for watching. Extreme.